Ciao amici, hi everybody, welcome back into my craft room. Um, I just finished the project of the notebooks from repurposing um, book jackets and they are four in total. Some have four signatures, other have three. They have a lot of space for journaling and you can find them in my Etsy shop. They are already listed and if you want to buy them all in batch, uh, you will have this trifold notebook um, for free as a gift from me and uh, it has quite a lot of space for journaling and is very funny and it's all made from repurposed papers and um, agenda, notebooks and whatnot. So head to my Etsy, I will link it down, down below and uh, you will find them all. And just comment or text me for any questions you have about them. So these can go away and let's talk about the new project because I never stop thinking and uh, planning new projects. This is a um, vintage book and I found it in a thrift store. Well, actually it's, it was a gift and I've decided to make it um, a botanical journal, to make a botanical journal out of this book. So, uh, I will have to take all the signatures out from here. And yeah, you know, you might be scared of this thing, but you need to go through this process in order to have a beautiful junk journal. And then I was thinking about the end papers that I want to have. These are the two that I've chosen. I think they are very nice. Um, the image I used was this one and I just made it just a little bit uh, smaller so that it can fit. Uh, then I also have these vintage books about orchids that I would really like to use with these beautiful images and I would really love to use it so I'm here with some um, just heavy papers and I misprinted some pages for work so I can use these papers to back this one and make them more sturdy. So if you want to join me today, I'm not making anything special or exciting. I am just going to cut papers and prepare all the materials for this beautiful book. Thank you all for um, joining me and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate every single one of you who decided to follow me and uh, to give me your trust uh, because I am quite new in this universe and I am not planning anything special but you know I just I would love to sell some of my journals uh, in which you can uh, journal and write because I don't know about you because I don't know you but I've been through therapy for many years I wouldn't say my whole life but almost and one of the many things that a, a therapist would say is write down 
write down your emotion, your feeling. Uh, you have to record all your feelings and you have to understand what's going on in your head. And it's not a very easy task, of course. Not for me, anyway. So, and she uh, also said that uh, when you're writing down your worries, they become less uh, important, less big because you can just focus on each one of them, understand your approach to these things, and understand that maybe they can just become a little less uh, heavy for you, and you can understand the process you go through when you think about all these worries. So, ever since, I am keeping journals. Uh, and they are helping me with my thought process so that I can understand, really, really understand what's going on in my head and why I come to a certain point of burnout. And if there's something I can do to make the burden less heavy, I will do it. So journaling is one of the therapies that are advised, that are suggested to deal with anxiety. And that's what I'm doing. That's what I am doing. I am not very consistent but I am trying to be as consistent as possible. Because, you know, it's not easy to deal with all the things in life that aren't very mm, easy. We all know that, right? And that's why I try to focus on the good things. Um, and. I also noticed that when you write your worries down, most of the times they just disappear for the, for the main reason that you have written them down. <clears throat> and that's why I started to make junk journals because I thought that I needed a beautiful place for my world and for my worries too and uh, as if I, as I am not very consistent if maybe this was my process if maybe I had a beautiful place where I could write down all my thoughts maybe I would um, strive for the moment in which I would look after, look forward to the moment in which I could journal on to a beautiful page. This was my process and yeah, maybe I think, and I think I, I, I did it right. So if I make myself a journal, full of beautiful images, maybe I'll be happier to spend the time writing them down. Anyway, let's see what we have here. I have some wonderful, absolutely wonderful pages that I can use to decorate my new botanical journal. And I am so happy. I would love to use um, all vintage original pages. But um, 
it's not easy here in Italy to find beautiful books at a low price and I don't want to invest a lot of money into my uh, junk journal materials. Well, it's not that I don't want to, I really can't. So that's why I do what I can, what well, the stash that I have in my house. And I think e even if you don't have special images, you can as well make a beautiful journal. So let me see. I have all these beautiful, wonderful sheets of papers. I could use them, these ones for pockets, making pockets. And I also always want to back up the papers because I print on regular copy paper. And you know, it's very thin. So if you back it up, also, you can use also regular, another sheet of regular paper. You don't have to worry because two sheets make it just a little bit heavier so that you can, you can uh, use it as a pocket or belly band. This, this could be a, a great belly band, no? And I have already finished my backing papers. I think they are going to look very nice. Um, I will pause you just one second and I'll go find some more papers. Okay, I found this old um, this old uh, folder and I'm going to use this one even if it's uh, blue but I don't mind let's see together let's go th together through this beautiful uh, journal book magazine look at this beautiful images of orchids oh wow and when you do all this job it's you know quite healing going through old newspapers or magazines it's so, I don't know, it's so comforting, soothing for me. Uh, and this is therapy. Sometimes it's more useful than writing, the writing itself. Just play with paper. This is a beautiful image, don't you think so? I will back this up. So first of all, I would like to just cut down the images that I like. Let's see if they have... Oh, look at this one. These are very, very beautiful. I used to collect orchids. And I came to a point where I had almost a hundred different pots of orchids and they were all in a special room that I dedicated to them and I um, used to have a special lightning 
uh, I used to have a timer on the lights so that they could have um, around uh, 20, 20 hours a day of light and it was cold light uh, mimicking the, um, the, the sunlight um, and I had timers for everything <laughs> and I also used to when when I was away on vacation I had a person who used to come here and I um, wrote down the instructions uh, for each one of the orchids uh, because each one of the orchids has a different um, a different uh, habit. They come from different habits. There are mountain or orchids, forest or uh, lake. Uh, they all come from uh, they all come from uh, tropical regions, so their main characteristic is being wet and humid all the time, and this is what we try to do uh, in our homes with uh, what we can do, because my house is not humid at all, so I had to uh, recreate the habit, uh, the habitat of these orchids. And it was real fun. I used to study a lot and I had a great satisfaction. Um, I also went uh, shopping in special um, uh, greenhouses where they um, they grew the orchids and I went to lectures on orchids and my house was kind of a greenhouse itself and it was so rewarding and that was my therapy at those times and I spent all my free time with my orchids after you know doing all the chores in the house and I was so happy but then life happened and I lost many of them I would say all of them unfortunately but now I'm trying to do what I can with this new with this new uh, passion that I have for junk journals. And I, if I can, I always want to use um, a botanical, botanical images in my books because I absolutely am in love with houseplants. Sometimes I will show you if you're interested I will show you my my collection of houseplants. I'm not sure if I like this image or not. Maybe I can fussy cut. As close as I can to the drawings I mean it's a photo as close as I can and maybe I can make a beautiful belly band out of this picture uh, it's going to be difficult and I'm not very good at 
fussy cutting images. If you hear barking, it's my doggy, Olivia. She's outside in the garden, so maybe she found something or someone approaching the gate. So the temperatures dropped drastically last night. Uh, we went from 30 degrees, uh, 30 degrees to 15. And so we fi find ourselves in our flip-flops and t-shirts. Uh, I was looking for a sweatshirt today, couldn't find none. So this afternoon, unfortunately, I have to go looking for, uh, to go look for my winter clothes because I keep them separate from summer. I have them in different uh, drawers, so I have to go dig into my winter drawers and find um, some heavier clothes because, mind you, it's very, very chill, chilly. And it's so ab abrupt, the drop of the temperature, that you, we are not adjusted yet. What do you think? Hmm, I'm not very, very happy about that, but maybe this could be a belly band. Let me see if the page is this one. Maybe like this. What do you think, friends? It's always difficult when I start a new journal because I'm not sure about what I'm going to make. Or oh, this can be a border, but I'm going to lose I'm going to lose all these things here. I'm not sure already. However, the sun is shining today. Again, I'm not sure if it's gonna make any difference right now because <clears throat> it's fall season I think that's beautiful but I am sure that this will not stay so maybe Okay, let's see. Oh, now I have to go. I have not much done today. But I will be back in the afternoon because I'm going to stop now. I need to do something around the house. I need to go because Sunday is the day with my parents so i am going to <clears throat> visit them for lunch with my girls and we are all going to spend our lunch together and then I, I will chill out if i can 
Yes. Okay, friends, I'll be back soon. And let's see what we can do with this beautiful, maybe beautiful <laughs> junk journal we are going to make. Ciao!